Welcome back to the Wim Tips and Tricks series. Today I've got 7 cool normal mode tricks for you. Let's not waste any time. Hi, my name is Marco. Let's get started. Okay, let's start by entering insert mode from normal mode. There are a few different ways you can do this. With I, you get placed into insert mode before the character your cursor rests on. Let's go back. A gets you into insert mode after the character. There's also capital A, which puts you on the end of the line into insert mode. And there's also capital I, which puts you to the beginning of the line. Okay, next. Let's go down 20 lines here into the middle of this list. And let's say we wanted to add a new list item above this three views item. We simply can press capital O and open a new line above the current line we are at and are placed directly into insert mode. So we could say, something cool and add this here cool 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 now let's say we wanted to add another item but below this item we can simply press o and we get placed into insert mode one line below with a newly created line we could add something even cooler here i can't type so opening up new lines creating new lines from normal mode and going directly into insert mode with capital o or o so then we go on read through our text search for errors something like that, when we suddenly realized, oh, we forgot to add something to the last item we just added. That's where our next tip shines. What we can do now is jump directly into the last insert mode position we were in before. We can do this very quickly with just pressing GI. And now we're back right at the position where we left insert mode the last time. So now we can just start typing. I will just add an exclamation mark here. It looks even cooler, right? Okay, so now let's go back to normal mode. And what are we gonna do now? Um, let's jump up here. Yeah, let's just visually select this complete paragraph, right? So let's do VAP. And now we have visually selected this paragraph and maybe we want to indent this or something like that, right? So we just hit the greater than sign or whatever this bracket is called in English, I don't know right now, and indented our visual selection. So let's jump around a little bit, maybe, I don't know, delete this line here. When we suddenly realize, oh, we need to visually select our last selection again, we can simply do this with GV. And now we have visually selected the last visual block we selected before. Now that we reselected this, we could do anything we want with this. I'm just simply gonna delete this right now. This is maybe not the best use case for this, but I'm quite tired and I'm not really able to think of any better example right now. What's your favorite normal mode trick? Drop a comment below. And I know you're probably sick of hearing it, but if you want to support this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. It really helps the algorithm, so. I would be very grateful, thank you. But now let's get back to the tricks. I also very often use the undo and redo commands. You can simply hit U to undo the last change you did or hit Ctrl R to redo the change. You can actually do much more complex stuff with Lim's history, but that's a topic for another video, I guess. So again, U to undo something and Ctrl R to redo something you've just undone. Okay, so first of all, I've undone some of the changes we did to this list here right now. Now I decided to add an exclamation mark to some more of these items here. So let's start by the first one, go into insert mode at the end of this line with capital A, add an exclamation mark, go back to normal mode. And let's say the second one should also get one. I go down one line, I press the dot and let's say the git one should also get one. So I jump down three and I also press the dot and now here's also an exclamation mark. This is probably also not the most complex and most uh, useful example here right now but you can use it to repeat every change you did. Maybe you can think of a good use case for this. Okay let's scroll down a little bit. Maybe let's just stay here in this list of advantages of FD over find and maybe I need a little bit more context here but I don't want to lose my place in the file. I can actually scroll this line here to the bottom of the screen by typing ZB. So this command scrolled this line right to the bottom of the screen and our cursor stayed right in the place where it was. Another command that's very similar to this, uh, it's called ZZ to center the line where our cursor is on or ZT to put it to the top. So these are great for getting some more context around the line you're currently on. Maybe you want to take a look at this other short video I made about four insert mode tricks. Thanks for watching, see you around and take care.